Hi, if I haven't had the pleasure of meeting you, my name is Kim Halls. I teach second grade over at Woodside, and today I want to share with you a really cool resource that's now on Google Classroom. So you're going to start by going to your Google Classroom and pressing the Create button on your Classwork tab. I'm going to press Assignment, and then right down here, this is the new feature that I want to talk to you about. So it's called Hegarty Read Along, and it's not an extension or anything extra. It's something that's already been pushed out to the district by Tom, and so all you need to do is click it to add access it and so what this is is a library of different decodable readers and um, just books basically in general that kids can read and then there's an AI assist tool that goes along with it so there's an AI little girl in the corner that I'll show you in just a second and she's listening to the kids as they read so she goes like this and then they can read the words out loud and as they read the words it's giving you as the teacher a score for how many of the words they read correctly what words they struggled with all of that good stuff so on this side over here, this is going to help you to make sure that it's going to fit the needs of your kids. So whether you're searching by Lexile level or grade, you can also search for decodables if you want to. This is especially helpful for younger grades where we're working on phonics skills. So if your kids have only learned, let's say like CVC words, then you're gonna want to focus on short vowels. And so you can see the focus right below each of the books. And also you can see if there's any comprehension questions to go along with them. Several of them do have comprehension questions, but not all of them do so it's worth looking into if you want those comprehension questions to just look below to see if they have them or not so I'm gonna go ahead and click one just as an example so this is what it looks like on here and you can press the attach and then it will go back to Google Classroom and attach it so then you can send it out to students but I want to show you what the student view looks like so I'm gonna just click this I don't think you'll be able to hear it at all because I have my headphones on but then you can know how to do it on your end so I'm just gonna click it and it'll take just a second to load when the kids are ready they can press the start reading button and then this little girl in the corner down here she's going to give them directions so basically she's just gonna say read this out loud and and if you need help with a word, click the word and I will read the word for you. Reading. And right now she's reading me the title. So I need to read this part out loud. So I'm going to say Val has a hat. It is a dig red hat. So you can see what dig. She's talking to me right now. <laughs> Let me go back and show you. When I said dig instead of big, which is a mistake that several of my kids might make, then it just underlines it in red to show that that word is incorrect. So now I'm going to go over here to show you what it looks like once the students are done on my end. So this is one that's already been completed by one of my students, and I can see that she read with 80% accuracy. She read 671 words correctly, 38 words she got some in-app help, 135 of the words were read incorrectly, and three of the words were not read. So it really breaks it down into like what words she needs to practice with. It also shows me the comprehension questions that they ask. If, it, if the child got them correct, then it will tell me that on the side and also what type of question it is, which I think is pretty cool. And then also it will break down the rest of the class on how they did. So I can see like if this child got it correct, was she in the majority or did most of the kids struggle with this question? And that's just a quick, quick way for me to check. One of my favorite things that it does is down here, it will show you the overall progress of the last five reading assignments. So I can see overall, once I keep assigning these, how the child is doing, which is pretty cool. So it really breaks it down into here to show you all sorts of different things. And I will say it's not perfect. I have noticed that especially when kids are sitting like kind of close to other kids, it might pick up other voices or if kids speak with a little bit of an accent or something like that, or speak really quietly or have um, some speech, um, things that they're working on, then it might not be totally perfect, but it is still a really, really cool tool and something that we have access to. So it's definitely worth playing around with and trying out in your own class. And you can also, um, within Google Classroom, let me see if I can get back to it so you can see. Within Google Classroom, when you attach it, you to some of your students. So like for my class, I have two different reading sections basically so I have a group that's on level and a group that's quite a bit below level and so what I can do is press this all students button and either do my first reading group of the kids who are either at or above level or I could do what my lower group of students that are going to need more of like those decodable type texts and then I can just click that group and press done and then it will just send it out to those students so also it's leveled in that way then as well and differentiated so such a cool resource definitely worth looking into and worth playing around with.